guys today I am back to film another big Ulta haul I don't know I have just been shopping so much lately and it's just been bad and I am I am done I'm I'm done I'm not letting myself shop anymore for a little while I just need to take a break and just kind of enjoy the stuff that I've just gotten and then some of my older stuff but I'm gonna go ahead and get started because this is going to be a long video just gonna say that now um, but you can probably already tell so First thing, I'm going to start with a couple things that I didn't pick up at Ulta, but I did want to mention them just because I thought that, you know, they're beauty related. Why not? Um, so the other night I was at Walmart just picking up some groceries. My son needed some things for his school lunch and that kind of thing. And I have to walk through the beauty section. I just can't not walk through the beauty section. Um, and I picked up this. I have not seen this before. I haven't heard anybody talk about it either, but it's the Rimmel Lasting Finish Color Rush Long Lasting Intense Color Balm. I don't really have too many of these like color balm crayon things so I decided to pick one up. This is in the color, I can never find the color in here, Make Me Blush. So it's just a nice pink color um, but the reason I picked this up is because the only other crayon thing I feel like I kind of have right now is Rakugian from NARS and it's a little darker and this is kind of more of a brighter pink color. So I picked this up thinking you know once I finish up Rakugian the rest of the way I can kind of just use this every time I want something just to quickly throw on. Um, but it's just a nice pink color so I picked that up I haven't really tried it out yet so I don't know how hydrating it is and stuff but we'll just kind of see as time goes on then I also went to TJ Maxx um, I don't go to TJ Maxx very often I just kind of forget that we have one in town because it's just where it's located um, but I was just there kind of just shopping around and I decided to kind of walk through the beauty section which again I don't normally do at TJ Maxx just because you know, they carry things like Bliss and stuff that we usually already have at work that I can usually get for a little bit cheaper or, you know, the same price and then I get my points. Um, but anyways, I decided to pick this up. It is the Burberry Body Eau de Perfume. This was, I want to say this perfume is like in the $80 range. It might be a little less or a little more, but this is the 1.1 1 .1 ounce, so I, it might even be like $60. But it's quite pricey and it was on clearance at TJ Maxx for $20. So I was like, all right, I, I have to get it. I've been wanting to get one of the Burberry bodies. There's another one that comes in a pink box and I think that's the Eau de Toilette. But I knew I wanted to pick one of them up. I just couldn't remember which one at the time. So I just grabbed the Eau de Perfume. I'm glad I did though because it is, it is really, really good. But it comes in this really pretty bottle. This is a really strong perfume though. And I don't... I'm going to compare it to the one at work because I don't know if this is exactly the same, but I don't know. I'm always kind of iffy when it comes to buying perfume from places like Walgreens or Walmart. Um, just because like when we get them at all, like I know we're getting them from, for example, Juicy Couture. We're getting those from Juicy Couture. Um, and I'm like, you know, when Walmart has Juicy Couture, are they actually getting it from Juicy Couture or are they getting it from like a third party that they're probably not supposed to be getting it from? I don't know. I don't know how that all goes. Um, but I am going to kind of compare this to the one at work and just make sure it is like, you know, the real deal. But even if it's not, it does smell really good and it's a nice perfume. So, yeah, even if it's not, I'm not too upset about it. Um, the other thing I picked up at TJ Maxx, and I didn't know this was BH Cosmetics at the time, but it is the Sculpt and Blend 10-piece brush set. I just thought that this looked like the the Sigma Max line with the, you know, F80 and P82 and, you know, all of those little brushes. Um, but I've only tried out some of these. I've tried this one right here for my concealer and I have to say I love it. It is my favorite concealer brush, which surprises me because I really didn't think I was going to like it, but I love it. Um, so I'm really excited to try out some of the other brushes. It does say that this is for highlighting, contouring, and blending. Um, it does go through and tell you what all the brushes are for on the back. So they're technically all face brushes, but I do feel like some of these smaller ones I will probably use as eye brushes just because I don't do a lot of contouring. I just, I've never been really big into the contouring thing, so I feel like I'll probably use some of them as eye brushes, but this was like $15 or something like that. It was a really, I don't know, it seemed like a good deal to me. Um, I really like them so far, so I'm glad I picked those up. Now onto the things I actually picked up at Ulta. Um, one of the first things I picked up was a hair mask. I just knew that I had needed one because um, I finished, I had been using a Paul Mitchell one and I had finished that. 
So I grabbed this just because I was I've been always intrigued by this line, but I've never tried anything, I've never really heard anything about it. It's the nth degree, and this is the true repair, not sure what that is, and grapeseed hair mask for normal damaged or chemically treated hair. So this is what it looks like. Um, I don't know, I've only used it once and I have to say I do like it so far, but I don't feel like I have enough of an opinion to really know whether it's something I would repurchase or not just from using it once. But this does smell like like real grapes, like not like grape candy or fake grape scent. It has like a grape, like a real grape smell to it. The other thing is, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, is it has little, little like orange scrubby beads in it almost. I don't know. When I try to touch them, I don't feel them. So I don't know if they just like break on like as soon as you start using it or what, but I don't know. It's just got little beads in there, which I thought was kind of weird. Um, but so far, so good. I just don't know yet if I love it. Um, the other main reason I went into Ulta was this, the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons Palette. This I debated back and forth about whether I really wanted to get it or not because I knew some of the colors in here were not really, I don't want to say not up my alley, but they're just not something I was going to get a ton of use out of. And I've just been kind of feeling really, I don't want to say guilty, but I, I guess you could say guilty about my makeup collection, about how many eyeshadow palettes I have and how I just don't really reach for a lot of them, so I do kind of need to clean them out. So the last thing I want to do right now is buy another eyeshadow palette that I'm not going to reach for. But I don't think that's going to happen with this palette because I have used this so much this last week. I mean, I have to say I even like this more than the original Chocolate Bar palette. But this is what it looks like. Um, I know someone requested a look with pink and purple. And I'm kind of thinking I might do, you know, some of the pink colors in here with the purple that's in here too. Just use this palette because it's super, super pretty. It smells like chocolate again. Um, I do think it's kind of a little kiddish, you know, with the hearts. Like, they're, it's kind of cute right now with, like, Valentine's Day, but I do kind of see how some people are saying it looks kind of tacky and little kiddish. I do kind of see that, what they mean by it, but for the most part, I love it. This Cafe Olay color right here in the middle, this has just been my life lately. I just love this shadow. This is my favorite one out of the whole palette, although a lot of them are quite good. But it's just a taupey... The glitter is not going to pick up in it, but there is glitter in here. It's just a really pretty taupey glittery color, and I have been wearing that all over the lid. I've worn it all over my lid at least three times this week. I'm just obsessed with it. Um, but I have had a hard time putting this palette down and making myself use other things. I've really, really enjoyed it, so I am glad I picked it up. I didn't think I'd get a ton of use out of it, but so far I am really, really liking it. So that's good. Um, now kind of onto some of the other things. I'm going to start with some things that I got my mom. I just want to quick mention them. But I picked up the OPI Take a Right on Bourbon because she is going to be going to New Orleans. So I kind of got this as a cute little going away gift because OPI's new collection is New Orleans themed. Um, and out of all of them, this was the color that I liked the most. It's kind of like Cafe Olay but like in a nail polish. It's like a taupey kind of silvery color. It's really pretty. Um, but out of all of them, I just felt like this name the most she'd be able to tell that it was supposed to be kind of more of a New Orleans themed thing. Um, so I picked that one because the color was the prettiest and I liked the name. But the other thing I got for her is the, these are the Tony Moly. This is the Intense Care Snail Hydro Gel Mask and the Ferment Snail Eye Mask. Um, I picked these up because her favorite foundation is the Cosmetic CC Cream, which has snail secretions in it. We were talking about how it's such a great skincare product and stuff, so I picked these up thinking these might just be kind of fun for her to try out. Plus, they're Tony Moly, so they weren't, you know, like outrageously expensive. I think they were like $8 each or something, so really not too bad. And if she really likes them, then I might even pick some up for myself and try them because I've kind of been intrigued by them too, but I've been really wanting them to get them for her mostly, so... There is that. Um, now I'm going to jump into the bag of everything else. I did pick up a lot of skincare items during this trip. I don't really know why. I just, I guess it's kind of something I've been into lately. Um, there is one thing in here I am taking back, but I am not going to show in the haul just because I'm taking it back. Um, but I did pick up four skincare items from Nip and Fab. And this is kind of more of a mass line, but I picked up the Nip and Fab Skin Dragon's Blood Fix Plumping Serum. Um, I just don't have a lot of serums in my skincare collection and I've been really wanting a nice one. This has been really hard to pick up though just because Kylie Jenner 
features featured it on her Snapchat, I think, or something like that. So everybody's been buying it because she was talking about it. But I have been wanting to try this before. Um, the main reason, though, is because it has like hyaluronic acid in here to help plump up your skin. Um, the Dragon's Blood I've been kind of intrigued by because Peter Thomas Roth used to have a Dragon's Blood line. I don't know if they still do or not. Or at least I thought, I swear it was a Dragon's Blood line. And that, that Peter Thomas Roth line was super, super nice. So I was kind of looking at this thinking it would be a cheaper kind of alternative. Um, but I am really excited to try this out. I just, I only have one other serum. So I'm going to kind of use up the other serum I have first and then come to that one. But I am excited to try that out. This is the other product I picked up. It's the Nip and Fab Smooth Viper Venom Micro Blur Fix. Um, I am out of a lot of my mattifying pore filling primers. Um, I have my NYX Angel Veil that is barely holding on and I'm trying to kind of wait and purchase that when NYX is 40% off. I know that sale is coming. I don't know when. I'm going to say, I'm going to take a guess at probably the end of February, March, April. It should be here really soon. It's usually at the beginning of the year. Um, but since I'm almost out and I've been kind of holding on to it, I did decide to pick up some other things that I thought, you know, just try them out for the time being. And this was kind of one of them. Um, since it said micro blur, I was kind of thinking it's going to be like a silicone primer. But when it comes out, it's almost like a, it's almost like a hydrating gel and a silicone primer, like mixed together a little bit. And then once it dries, it is really, really matte. Um, so I'm excited to try this out more. I've only tried it on the back of my hand but it's just like a clear gel. So hopefully that'll work really well. I think it'll be really mattifying. I'm kind of interested to see more how it's going to do as a blurring effect though, just because that's kind of been my bigger issue lately is my pores just being really huge. Um, particularly when I use the Makeup Forever stick foundation, I start out beautiful and poreless and then by the end of the day, I feel like you can just see every little, little pore on my face. So I'm hoping that the micro blur will help that because I haven't really been using a pore filling primer with the stick foundation. So we'll see. Um, the last two things I've picked up from Nip and Fab is the Bee Sting Fix Cream Deluxe. And I also picked up the eye cream that goes with it. These I have very mixed feelings about. Um, I picked them up because I think her YouTube channel is Beauty Junkie. 101 but I will link it down below if I remember to because she also works at Ulta or works for Ulta not the one that I work at but um she was talking about how everyone's talking about the Bee Enigma moisturizer and how it was so fantastic and she was like mm, like a hundred dollars though I kind of want to you know let's see if I can find like a cheaper dupe almost so she was trying this and she said it's really really good she mentioned this in her video too but the main complaint I have is they're just not very full like that is how mine came. It's just not very full. So I don't know, I, that I don't really like that it's not full. Like I don't know why you wouldn't just fill your product up. Um, the eye cream is even worse. I don't know why, but I haven't tried them out yet. So I'm hoping that they just blow me away to make up for the fact that they're, you know, like half full. But she mentioned that in hers too. So otherwise I would think that somebody had used these and returned them or something, but she mentioned it in her video, so I kind of expected it a little bit. There's a ton on this little thing, but that is how mine came. It literally looks like it's half full. So I'm a little disappointed in the fact that it's not full, but I mean, this eye cream is really thick, so I'm thinking, you know, maybe it'll be okay and just use a little bit, you know, it should last me a while, but I don't know. It's just skincare is a pricier thing and, you know... I feel like you should get your money's worth with it so <clears throat> next Revlon was buy one get one 50% off so I did pick up some foundations from them I know I really don't need any more foundations right now but I can't help it I just with all the new ones launching I just want to try them all um so that's kind of where I've been at lately but I mean at least it's foundation I know I'll use it it's not like eyeshadows where it's like I have a million choices and foundations it's like I will always wear a foundation pretty much so I picked up two since they were buying at 50% off the first one I picked up is the color Revlon color stay whipped and this is in 150 buff which is my correct match I have had this before but I picked up too dark what color and when I pick up a foundation and it's just really the wrong color I do not like it 
Um, there are very few exceptions to that rule where it's like the wrong color but I still like the foundation. It's just for some reason when it's the wrong color, I just, I for some reason just cannot like. I just can't make myself like it. Um, so I'm excited to try this now with it being my correct shade. I think I originally purchased a darker color thinking I was going to use like over the summer and I was going to get super tan, but that just like never happened. But that was several years ago, so that was a while ago. I also picked up the Revlon Color Stay 2-in-1 Compact Makeup and Concealer. When I first started wearing foundation for the first time, I used to wear a compact makeup and it was from CoverGirl. Totally not the right color. It's total cake face. But I loved it. I'm not even going to lie. I loved it. It was so quick and easy to apply. It just, I liked a lot of things about it. But um, this is what the foundation looks like. I'm not going to lie, it looks really scary because it's like, wow, that looks like it's going to be way too dark. But as you start to use it, you can see it does kind of expose that it's not really that dark. And the uh, Makeup Forever Stick Foundation did that to me too. I opened it and I was like, this is going to be way too dark. I started to apply it and it's actually lighter underneath like the top layer. I don't know why that is. Um, the concealer does look like it's just going to be like a little a little bit lighter than the foundation, but not by much. So I'm excited to try this out too because I've seen some really great reviews for this. Um, plus, they're just really quick foundations, especially compact ones. You just apply them really quickly. So The next not so exciting thing is I got these Ulta 75 dual tipped cotton applicators. These are just for cleaning up makeup. They're super pointy on one end and the other end is kind of more rounded. They're just for cleaning up my eye makeup with nothing super exciting. Next I picked up next I picked up some NYX products. Um, they were buy one get one 50% off the eye cosmetics, which kind of sucked because there was definitely some face and lip stuff I wanted to pick up, but I didn't really pick them up. Um, I did pick up one lip product though. It is the let's see here. Slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme lip color liner. And then it says in parentheses, this lip liner is so good the name had to be this long. But I picked this up just because I am not really loving my older NYX um, lip pencils. They just seem kind of dry and this is definitely more creamy just from swatching and I can tell it's going to be more creamy. But I just wanted something that I was really going to like to pair with MAC Russian Red since I'm panning it. So, so far I am really liking that. It seems like it's going to be really promising. Um, but I'm excited to actually try it out. I also picked up the NYX Skinny Mascara. I just have noticed I can't really use them on my lower waterline as much. So this is kind of why I picked that up. I've never tried it, so I'm excited to try that out too. I also picked up the Liquid Crystal Liner, and this is in Gunmetal. I have just seen so many glitter tutorials lately, and it's just making me want to wear glitter, and I actually have no glitter liners. I usually get them, and then I end up just kind of tossing them because I don't love them. But... I think I'm going to like this one. I've seen a couple of good reviews for these ones, so I'm excited to try that. And then this I have tried and I know I already love it. It is the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Brow Contour Pencil. I don't know why more companies don't do this because I think it's genius, but I imagine they don't do it because then they have to get rid of the spoolie. And I do kind of miss the spoolie with this, but I think it's great. Um, so I got mine in the vanilla and taupe color. So the pencil is a little bit thicker than the micro brow pencil or like the Anastasia brow is. It is a little bit thicker, but I actually kind of like it. It's still very easy to get very precise with it, and it does fill in my brows a little bit faster. And then there is the highlight end. <clears throat> and it just looks like an eyeshadow base, like crayon or, you know, twist up pencil. But it's just a very subtle vanilla highlighter. Um, but I like this because it just kind of, it helps... I like to use it as a base for like my powder highlighters. So I kind of like it because it kind of helps amplify the highlight under my brows. But I haven't really used this too much just because I am panning the dip brow. So I do really like this though. The old Ulta that I used to work at had Makeup Revolution. This new store that I transferred to did not. Um, however, we just got them in. So as soon as I saw them, I decided to go ahead and pick up some highlighters because I have heard really good things about these, but I've just never really felt like trying them. And then I kind of saw them sitting there and I'm like, I'll give it a shot. So I picked up two. I have this one in Golden Lights, which this one I really like. I do kind of feel like though it's a lot like Kat Von D Thunderstruck. It's just kind of a, you know, light gold color. So you can see that one there is really intense. This one shows up really nice on my skin and it is a pretty intense highlight. 
The other one I picked up that I don't love as much, this one is Radiant Lights. It's more of a champagne-y pink color, but I just feel like it doesn't, I don't know, it's just not as strong of a highlight for me. It's very, very subtle. So this is better for kind of more no makeup or very light makeup days or just when I want my highlight to be a little bit more subtle. So it's not bad. It's just the color wasn't exactly what I was hoping it would be. So there's those two. Butter Girl was also buy one get one 50% off and I had been really wanting to try this. It is the Super Sizer Mascara. I usually just don't like CoverGirl mascaras, but I have heard so many good things about this that I'm like, I just kind of can't keep ignoring them. I feel like I need to try this. So I picked this up in very black. Um, it'll be a little while before I get to it though because I have so many mascaras, samples, and full size ones that I have bought and stuff that I need to use. So it might be a little while before I get to this, but I think I want to get to this by at least summertime just to try it out and you know. Because I think if I do like it, <clears throat> that the waterproof might be a good option for me to pick up as well. So we'll see. And because it was buy one get one fifty percent off, I also picked up another product. I picked up the CoverGirl O Sugar. I picked up another balm. Um, this is in number seven soda, and this one does have a tint to it. This one actually does show up on my lips. Um, it is quite a bit darker, so it looks really, <laughs> it looks scary in the tube. But it, I don't know, it has a really pretty tint to it. It's really not scary at all. So there's a swatch of it there. It's really pretty. It's, you know, the same as the other ones. It's got the really pretty kind of fresh citrusy scent. Very lightweight, hydrating. So I am glad that they do have some that have a little bit more of a tint because I did pick up lighter colors before. I have Cupcake and Caramel. So you can kind of see here, they're definitely lighter than soda. So I kind of want to pick up all of these, but I am really restraining myself. I'm telling myself that three is enough. I don't need to go back and get more, but... They do have a couple more darker than this. I think there's like 10 colors altogether, and this is number seven. So there are a couple more that are even darker and they might have even more of a tint to them, but I am really liking that so far. Lastly are just kind of a couple random products I picked up. Um, the first one is the Ulta, the matte primer. Originally $5 and it was on sale for $2.49. Um, I just being out of my mattifying and pore filling primers, I thought I'd give this a try. All the products for me are very hit or miss. They're either really good or I feel like they're just kind of like, what were they thinking? Um, so I decided to give this a try and I'm glad it's a little baby size because I think the big one is like $18 unless, of course, there's like the buy two get one free or buy two get two free or they're on sale. Um, but otherwise, I think the full size one is like $18 and I was just like, I don't want to try it that bad. <laughs> I'll kind of try this little sample size one and see how it goes and if it's really good maybe I'll keep repurchasing it but right now I'm just going to try that one out. I also picked up the Lorac Alter Ego lipstick and this is in the color Seductress. This is a beautiful rose color. Um, I don't remember exactly who was talking about this. I want to say it was that girl Shea XO but I could be wrong. It's just it's a really pretty rose color. Somebody was talking about it though and I was watching them talk about it and I was like I have to get it so there's a swatch of it there it's beautiful I'm obsessed with it I love all my Lorac Alter Ego lipsticks they're amazing so this one should be no exception it's already very very pretty so um, I picked up this Tony Moly Panda's Dream So Cool Eye Stick this is a really unique product um, I was actually looking at H2O's skincare line and they have a ton of really interesting products too, like there's a foaming toner and cleanser and that kind of thing, and I was intrigued to try them. And then I saw this like instant moisture stick, and it was this little tiny stick, and it was like $30 to $50. It was quite expensive. And I mean, I, I just kind of tried it on the back of my hand, and it's this gel that was like super like cooling, but it really was like instantly moisturizing, and it was super nice. So I decided to try the Tony Moly thing, just thinking like this cute little panda. Um, and it's actually the same, it's pretty much the same product. It is a blue gel that you swipe it on, it's super cooling and super moisturizing. It smells amazing. So I'm going to take this with us on vacation just because I think it'll be kind of a nice quick under eye moisturizer. Um, plus it's in a stick, so I just think it's kind of more convenient. And it, the packaging is just adorable, like it's just so cute. I have literally seen people buy this just because it's a little panda. They don't even know what it is. They're like, oh, this cute little panda, let me get this. And I'm like, okay, it's like under eye cooling stick that's amazing. So 
Um, I also picked up the Kate Spade Walk on Air. This is just the roller ball. I wanted to pick up the full size one, but I'm just like, I change my mind about perfume so much that I just don't feel like I should buy a full size. I'm going to keep wearing this roller ball and just kind of keep wearing it and seeing, you know, if it becomes a staple for me, I will buy it, but I didn't want to buy the full size and then just be, you know, tired of it in a month or two. So I decided to just stick with the roller ball for now, but I have been wearing this a ton this last month, just wearing it at work, you know, wearing our tester one. So I think I'm really going to like this and I'll probably pick up the full size eventually, but right now I'm just going to stick with the roller ball and keep focusing on my fragrances that I'm panning. So that is it for this haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, like I said, I know it's long and I tried to, you know, talk as fast as I could and get through everything as fast as I could. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!